Craig, you've been around these uh, Clan 5 games now for a number of years, playing for both sides. Is the one on Sunday probably the biggest one we'll ever see? Um, I think it's certainly the biggest one that I'm, I will have played in um, when it comes around. Um, obviously, there's so much on the line for both teams with both of us kind of fighting for that eighth position. So, um, you know, the rivalry is intense at the best of times, but when you throw in um, the stakes that we have this weekend, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good one. Now, I should point out, as we speak, we're recording this just before the weekend starts, so we obviously don't know the outcome of, of Saturday's games, and it's setting up what's going to be an interesting few weeks. But how do you feel the way things are overall as you look at the current picture? Yeah, I mean, it's positive for us. Obviously, we had a little tough stretch there where we lost a few games on the bounce, but um, you know, we came back a couple of weekends ago and picked up a four-point weekend, which was um, just what we needed at this point of the season. Um you know, with the way everything's gone, if we can finish this season well and pick up the points in the last four games that we need to to make the playoffs, um, you know, everyone's going to be really happy in that room that we've managed to do that. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a big weekend coming up. Momentum's such a big thing as well, especially in the position clan find themselves in. You can say they kind of lost it going into the last break there for the international break. It's just hoping that you, you've still got it by the time you, you come back this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, um, obviously we didn't come back from that the way we would have liked, especially when we were playing well before that little break. So, um, I mean, it's slightly different this time around. Obviously, you know, we know we've only got four games left. There, there's no time um, to wait. We can't, you know, go into the weekend and, and not come out of it with any points because that's going to put us in a really, really tough spot. So um, we want to try and keep it in our hands as much as we can. Um, and that means, you know, trying to take maximum points from this weekend. And as I say, we're recording this before that the weekend starts. But going back to Clan and Fife, the rivalry, we've seen it through the years, the, the characters that have played in this game along the way. What do you enjoy about them? And does the venue play a part in, in maybe any kind of outcome? Um, yeah, it's just it's it's a bit different when you go into a rivalry game. You know, you can tell that the players are a bit more up for it than maybe a, a game against somebody else in the league. And, and you certainly know that the fans are are definitely up for that one um, and obviously each team wants to get one over on each other um, and yeah you know in our arena it's great the atmosphere is great but obviously in Fife we'll take a, a big traveling support I think I've seen on Twitter that you know we've already sold out one block and we're trying to sell out another one as well so um, that definitely helps when we take that support away as well and it's it's an old rink and it can be atmospheric in there as well so um, to have our fans kind of backing us um, over there will be big and, and it'll play a big part. And like I say, I, I think, you know, players and fans are like, everybody's just, you know, that little bit more excited for the rivalry game. And then when you chuck in um, what's on the line this weekend, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm expecting a pretty intense atmosphere. Now, I think a lot of people know that you're good friends with Barry McKenzie. He used to play for the clan. He's currently at Fife. Has there been a bit of backwards and forwards between the two of you? Have you have just left each other alone this week? Um, no, me and Barry talk quite a lot. Um, we actually haven't spoken about the game on Sunday once, which is probably both of us just keeping our cards close to our chest. Um, it's, it's just been um, everyday stuff when we've been talking this week. Um, so we haven't really touched on the game. You know, we're, we're friends, like you said, but but once that puck drops and, you know, I, I want to beat him, I want to beat that team and uh, the bragging rights that go along with it. So. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, you played for Fife last year and it was a disappointing season. They fell out with it, the playoff places. So do you get a sense, given your, your knowledge of the place, that the desperation they have in, in getting into that top eight and as a player as well, for you to get back among those places again? Yeah, of course. And, you know, I've kind of tried to, to say that to the team over the last few weeks as well, that, you know, it, it sucks when you don't make the playoffs and the coaches have touched on that as well. And unfortunately, I experienced that last year. And, you know, you don't want to be one of those two teams that, that misses out going to the playoffs. I know it's a short format, but um, it's still the playoffs and everybody loves playing in it. So, and it's a chance to win a trophy and, you, you know, it's, it's two weeks long, so anything could happen. Um, so, you know, for us and the way that this season's gone, if we can claw our way into the playoffs, you know, it's, um, I'm not going to say the season's been a success, obviously, because we would have liked to have been higher up the table. Um, but 
I think it'll be, you know, show the character of this team for everything that we've been through. Um, you know, if we can get ourselves into that spot. And I know that everybody in that room is desperate to do that. Um, so, yeah, I know everyone will be up for it this weekend. And, you know, four games left in your season, there's there's nothing left to say but four. Is this the kind of game where the form book goes out the window? You obviously you want to go in there with some level of momentum, but it's a rivalry game. It is really anything can happen. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, we'll we'll have our systems and we'll do our homework on them. But once the puck drops and you know the the intensity of the crowd and the atmosphere can play a part, I'm sure refereeing will probably play a part part at some point, um, as it always does. Um, but you know, there things like that we can't control. So it's um, yeah, the, the form book can kind of go out the window in these games. You never know what it could be a high scoring game. It could be a nil nil one one game tight right till the end. You just never know which way it's going to go. So um, the, the one thing it always is, is exciting. So, you know, it'll be fun. Now, fixtures against Fife seem to have been quite successful for Clan this year. I think there's maybe one, maybe two off the top of my head. Clan haven't won. You've certainly won in the last two visits up to Kirkcaldy. So what's the key to victory up there on Sunday? Um, I think it's getting a good start, um, jumping on the early. Um, you know, they're a good team, especially in their rink. And if that crowd starts to get behind them, you can see that it gives them kind of an extra step and a bit of momentum. So for us, it'll just be, you know, trying to take the sting out of the game early. Um, obviously, it's a rivalry game, so it, it could go any way. But, um, you know, we just want to stick to our game plan as well. We're, we know what they're all about. We've had success against them. But... You know, we're going to have to be at the top of our game to be able to to beat them um, on Sunday because, you know, they're, they're a dangerous team. Um, so, if, yeah, if we, we can kind of take the sting out of the game early, I think that will that will bode well for us. We, we're not worried about how our performance looks, whether it's a, a pretty performance, if it's ugly and we come out of there with two points, then uh, we'll be very happy. And as you look at it, there's only one place left up for up for grabs now. The top seven have, have claimed their place. So it's one out of three between Clan, Flyers and, and Dundee Stars if they can get any kind of form. So will this playoff race go to the wire? Will it go all the way into early April? Or do you or you, you obviously hope to get it done sooner than that? But do you have a feeling it could go all the way? Um, yeah, I, th I think it will probably go all the way to the last weekend of the season. But obviously, um, five for a point behind with a game in hand on us, I believe. So... Um, Sunday is going to have a big part to play and a big say to play and I think who makes that that eighth spot. So, um, you know, looking at our fixtures and looking at, at their fixtures too, you obviously can't predict what's going to happen in those. So, you know, we, we've got a game against a team that we're fighting with for, for that eighth position. So if we can take maximum points out of that weekend, then hopefully that'll put us in um, a stronger position. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're not probably going to know until the last weekend of the season. Um, you know, the one thing we do know is that it's, you know, it's vital that we that we take maximum points out of the game on Sunday.